Good morning show. I'm Kristen. And I'm Jenny. The first thing we're going to talk about is a holiday happening today, which we do not celebrate in America, but in Mexico and other Spanish-speaking countries. Today and, today and yesterday were Dia de los Muertos, also known as Day of the Dead. That's right. The holiday is celebrated in Spanish-speaking countries. The preparation for Dia de los Muertos in Spanish-speaking countries is three days long. And similar to that, we've been doing Dia de los Muertos theme stuff in Spanish class all week. And we've made pepel picado to hang from the ceilings, as well as some um, flores made out of paper, which is paper flowers. Which I was never really good at making. They're kind of difficult. <laughs> yeah, they're a little bit more difficult than they look. Yeah. And then we've also made sugar skulls, and we've decorated those with glitter, and they're really pretty. I really like the sugar skulls. Those are like my favorite thing to do. It was a fun activity. The celebrations usually involve different kinds of food and like dances and parties and all this really happy fun stuff and we don't really know a lot about it so we talked to our Spanish teacher and here's what it's all about. Hi, I am Tish Evenson, um, Senorita Evenson, and I teach Intro to Spanish and Spanish 3 and Spanish 4 here at Fairbury Junior Senior High School. Um, today I'm going to tell you a little bit about Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead. This is a celebration that takes place on November 1st and 2nd. October 31st is a day of preparation. Um, a lot of people get Halloween and Dia de los Muertos confused because um, of the images of skeletons and skulls that appear with Dia de los Muertos is often similar to what you see on Halloween. Day of the Dead is celebrated in most of Mexico and some of Central and South America and basically it's a day to remember loved ones who have passed away. Um, it's a day to get clean up the grave sites um, and one of the most common events is that they make an ofrenda or an offering. It's kind of like an altar with several different tiers on it um, here they place a photo of their loved one, um, pan de muerto, which is dead bread, um, sugar skulls, the loved one's favorite foods. It's not a morbid or weird kind of holiday. It is a celebration of life. A lot of times there are parades in the, in the, in the towns, big parades. They wear masks, people walk on stilts. Um, they dress as skeletons and and paint their faces like skulls. Um, and again, it's all of their laughing at death. And it's it's not that they don't mourn their loved one. It's it's not that they don't feel sad when they lose a loved one, but they prefer to celebrate that the the lives that they led rather than than focus on the the sad the sad parts. They focus on the good memories. Thanks Senorita Evenson for talking to us and we're going to go into a quick commercial break. Have you seen iGen4, the latest in high-speed digital color printing presses? Exceptional quality with shorter run on digital jobs. Email your file for even quicker turnaround time. No job is too small for the iGen. We are prepared to print from postcard size to anything as large as 26 inches. McBattis also features a Kongsberg digital die cutter, lightning fast for profitable digital short run production. Try McBattis for your specialty cutting needs. McBattis Printing, ready to meet all your printing needs, from printing to die cutting right down to the folding and gluing. Call us at 402-729-3722. Everybody cut! Footloose! That's right. Next weekend is the premiere of the Footloose musical put on by Fairbury High School. November 8th and 9th at 7 o'clock and I'm super excited. We're part of the play, so it's a big part of our senior year, and this year I think the play is really going to be fantastic. 
Yeah, I'm really excited for it. I think it's a, it's going to be a good one. It's been really fun and interesting to see the way that everything's building up on itself. I mean, we started out just reading lines, and now we've added like lights and sound effects. And, and the catwalk. And the catwalk. And we have a live orchestra band playing for us. Mm -hmm. I'm and so excited. We have that. massive set pieces. And the actors are really good, the voices are really good, I think. And, and the dancers. And, and the dancers. <laughs> if you didn't know, I'm part of the dance scenes. Right, and I'm stage manager, so it's going to be a great production. I'm really excited, and we put together some footage of the play to give you a little bit of a sneak peek, and we talked to some of the characters in the musical. So here's your sneak peek of Footloose. The girl gets a ride. and I'm Ethel. I'm Ren's mom in the play and um, I'm really excited about really just the whole thing. I think once it comes together it's just going to be really cool. Production and everything, all the lights and crazy stuff we're doing. It's going to be awesome. I'm Gavin Ragland. I play Chuck, Ariel's abusive boyfriend, and I'd have to say my favorite scene is either the very first one where we are uh, in the church or the finale. What am I talking to a wall? No, you're right. Calm down, honey. Don't tell me to calm down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I know what your friends think of me. That's bull. I'm the best party in this town, baby. What's your name? Michelle Snyder. And what do you play in the play? Uh, Burger Blast Betty, the owner of Burger Blast. Okay, and what is your favorite scene of the play? Um. I don't know, they're all pretty good, but um, Girl Gets Around is pretty uh, exciting, interesting. Alright, cool. Um, how would you say you're alike? What are your characteristics that are alike with your character? Um, I can be quirky at times, like, and also I'm, I'm not always coordinated, like my character isn't, <laughs> so. So you have to come on stage on skates, right? Yes. Are you nervous about that at all? Um, no, I've been practicing. I'm probably actually better than I should be because I'm like a, supposed to be a 60-year-old woman, but I'm probably better than a 60-year-old, so. Somebody, somebody, somebody. Wow. Oh. <laughs> What's your favorite part? What's your favorite scene of the play? <sighs> My favorite scene of the play is probably where I get mad at Ariel, who is Anna. So I think everybody at school is really looking forward to Footloose as well as most of the members of the community. I'm really excited for it. It's our senior year. I think it's going to be a good one. It's going to be fun. And on that note, we're going to go into commercial. We'll be right back to give you some brief news bits and then we'll wrap up the show. Hi, this is Grandma. Hello, Grandma. Yoga for fitness and health. Yoga for strength, endurance, and balance. Yoga for stress relief and flexibility. Yoga for everybody and every body. Be Moved introduces Yoga for Beginners. The six-week session starts Monday, September 30th and will be held every Monday evening at 6 p.m. For more information, visit b-movedyoga.com. Also, like Be Moved Yoga on Facebook for regular updates and information.
So Kristen, you're a Red Sox fan, so oh, yeah. I'm sure you're pretty excited about their win with the World Series. Of course. I watched almost every single game in the World Series in the whole postseason and whatever, and it was amazing. Like, they had some really good plays this offseason, and it's cool. What about Ortiz? Did you do a good Ortiz, job? Ortiz, he's the man. And it was fantastic. The game went really well. The Sox won 8-1, to one, I believe. Wow, that's, that's really good. Yeah, and they totally owned. Just wasn't in the cards, I guess, for St. Louis this year. Nice. And more with the local news, today Frost Frolic is happening. Oh yeah, one of the biggest holiday markets in the state of Nebraska, I would say. <laughs> That's for sure. It is a huge event. Yeah, we're part of the journalism, and so we've been doing a lot of work in preparation for this whole event for Frost Frolic. So stop by the Frost Frolic. It's going until 3, so go in there and buy a bunch of stuff. Make sure you're happy. We've got all kinds of arts and crafts and vendors from all over selling their stuff, and it's pretty neat, usually. Or you could stop by and just say hi to us. We're going to be there. We will be there. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this week's show. And we'll see you next week. See ya. Okay. The first thing we're going to talk about today is Footloose. That's right. November 8th and 9th is... <laughs> Today is Footloose. That's right, November 8th and 9th is when the musical. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I have to work with here. <laughs> I just, at first I was like, no, it's November 1st and 2nd. For some reason, right now my brain is like, do you date all the way dolls? First thing we're going to discuss today is Footloose. That's right, the musical Footloose is going to be playing. No, I can't even say it right. Can we talk about Dean Espartos first?